Let's do it. Who's ready for box two hype? Box two hype. We had an excellent box one with uh, all of these solid mythics that came out of it, plus our foil rares. Let's see what we can do with box number two. Will box number two have a masterpiece? Please, I want a masterpiece that would make me super happy. Let's see what we can do as I gently cut this open and open up my box. Open up my box, we'll see. Come on now. Come on, if I don't get a masterpiece in this, I will go out and buy another box, I swear to God. Ooh, boy, ooh, ooh. Ooh, girl. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at all the boosters in there. Mm. All right. We'll start off with this Chandra pack. Let's do it, everyone. Give me your energy. We're looking for masterpieces, looking for mythics. Let's see what we can do now. Let's see what we can do. Put those to the side. Oh man, I might have to go get more sleeves. I got so many. I got so many. We got mythics showing up in here. Right, let's get rid of the token and the mana. Here we go now. Here we go now. Here we go now. I've seen a lot of this stuff before. Lots of this stuff before. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. We got another foundry inspector. The Glimmer of Genius. I like Glimmer of Genius a lot. Scry two, draw two cards, and get two energy. My favorite thing about this is the fact that it's an instant. I would easily see this card as a sorcery, but that's an instant. Hold on to that mana, make your opponent uncomfortable, and at the end of their turn, if they do nothing, scry yourself two, draw two cards, get yourself some energy. I like this card a lot. I think this is very useful. Uh, another console shield guard. We had one of those before in the other box. And our rare is first rare, paradoxical outcome. Uh, we had a foil one of these in the other box, so I'm not as excited about this one as I would normally be, but, eh, you know. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Let's move right along. Does anyone ever feel bad about throwing away your booster wrappers? Like, I don't know if it's just, like, the material they're made from, or the, the way they look, or how shiny they are on the inside. I don't know. I just... I like booster wrappers a lot. I used to like save onto these, even though they're just garbage for the longest time because I liked them. I had to break myself out of that habit, but I liked them a lot. All right. Let's see what we got now. Let's see what we got now. Pima Outrider, yes. Another Founder's Creature. Another Aetherborn Marauder. We got the Incendiary Sabotage, and we got Morbid Curiosity, which we had before. And for our rare, another another key to the city. All right, had one of those before. Since we already had it, not exactly as uh, excited about it as I normally would be, but that's fine. That's fine. Just, just keep on moving along. Get those out. Well, what am I doing? I haven't been doing this at all. Oh my god. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Never forget to smell your cards because they're delicious. All right, let's take a look now. Yeah. Hey, a sky skiff. I can't believe this is a common. It's so good for a common. Uh, another Iron League steed. Another disappearing act. And another trusty companion is our rare. Oh, the Skyship Stalker. Oh, my goodness. This is what's known as an easy win card within red. A 3 3 flying for 4 mana. Awesome. But look at all its abilities it has. It only costs a single red mana. Plus 1, plus 1, oh, plus until end of turn. Make him first strike until end of turn. Give him haste until end of turn. Damn. Skyship Stalker. Excellent, excellent rare card. Very good. If you get this, if you see this in a draft or limited or whatever, play him. He is excellent. He will win you games. Awesome. Very cool. Let's open that up. 
put those away. Alright, alright, alright. Now it looks like, uh, heavens, I think I've got all the, uh, commons I could possibly get. Another, getting a lot of Imperial Voyagers. Another weapon craft enthusiast. Another whirler maker. And our rare... Another gear per orrery. Orrrrrrr. That's like my third one. Womp womp. Come on, box two. Give me with the good stuff. Take those out. Alright, here we go. Hey, it's the camel. And another essence extraction. Hey, Ether Hub! Awesome! This is a land that I was able to get in my pre release. I actually like this a lot. When it enters the battlefield, you get an energy. And it gives you uh, colorless mana, or you can pay one energy to uh, mana fix yourself and give one mana of any color. I actually like this a lot. If for no other reason, then it comes into play with an extra energy, and it's just a solid, solid land. It gets you colorless. Uh, I play this in my red green colorless deck. Again, did wonders, liked it a lot. Uh, another snare thopter. And oh, oh, here we go. That's how we start off box number two with Dovin Bon. Another Planeswalker, a blue-white Planeswalker for four mana. Let's see what you do. You come into play with three loyalty counters until if you're plus one until your next turn. Up to one target creature gets minus three, minus O, oh, and its activated abilities can't be activated. Minus one, gain two life and draw a card. That's dope. And his uh, ultimate minus seven. You get an emblem with your opponents can't untap more than two permanents during their untap steps. You know what's mean about that? That includes their lands. Oh, super mean. You're going to get yourself a sleeve, my good sir. Get yourself a sleeve. Hey, there's a card underneath you. Yeah, we also got a foil impeccable timing. So we got ourselves a mythic rare and a foil in the same pack. Hot damn. There you go, Dovin. You can chill right there. As we also get the foil. Awesome. What a great way to start. Great way to start. Here we go now. Alright, feel better about this box already. Okay, now. Check what we got here. Torch Gauntlet. Blossoming Defense again. Another Engineered Might. Hey, Speedway Fanatic. He's a 2-1 haste for 2 mana. Anytime you cruise a vehicle, he make that vehicle gain haste. So an excellent way to haste a uh, vehicle you just throw down. And with the uh, power of 2, there's a good chance that he can crew most vehicles by himself. And if he can't, he'll probably have some servos that can help you out. And then our rare... Another Aether Squall Ancient. Another easy, easy win card for blue... Awesome. All right, I'll start. I'll start counting the commons since we've gotten to the point where we've kind of seen all the commons. I haven't really seen anything uh, new, but I can count that to see uh, if we're going to see any foils within our packs. All right. Oh, we got ourselves a crab. Let's count these commons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> Only nine commons? You know what that means. There's a foil in here. And for our uncommons, we got unlicensed disintegration. For three mana, destroy target creature. If you control an artifact, it also deals three damage to that creature's controller. Excellent removal card. Very good. The fact that it's uh, unrestricted and you can just use it on anything. And if you got yourself an artifact, which you probably will on this set, and additional three damage to the opponent is excellent. We also got Servo Exhibition again. And the another Glint Nest Crane. Awesome. And then our rare is the Fleet Wheel Cruiser. If you remember this guy, he was the 5-3 Trample Haste vehicle that uh, drives itself on the first turn. And then for our rare or our foil card. Oh, it's a Ruinous Goblin. That's right. Well, it's a foil. Count it. Count it. All right, here we go now. 
Here we go now. Let's get that garbage out of there. Anything neat within here? Another crib. A lift fast. Another torch gauntlet. Make obsolete. Uh, the Janjeet Sentry again. And another Speedway Fanatic. And for our rare card. Oh, another Etherstorm Rock. Awesome. Hey, Missian26. Thank you for subscribing, man. Appreciate it. Again, those uh, rock birds are just awesome. Awesome wind cards. Awesome wind cards. Here we go. I just butchered this <laughs> wrapper. Sorry. All right. Let's take out these extra cards. Hey, we've got ourselves another crab right on top. All right, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ah, oh, ten. No foil. No foil. Oh, we got ourselves a Skywhaler shot uncommon, though. Haven't had one of these before. Destroy target creature with power three or greater and scry one. Excellent removal. Uh, another Beaumont Bazaar Barge. Had one of those before. Into the battlefield and draw a card. And the Consulate Surveillance once again. And for our rare, ha! another Alathnu Helion. That 4-4 four, four haste creature that you can easily get two turns out of. Excellent. If you're playing a red aggression deck, Alathnu Helion is awesome. Here we go now. Next pack here. Take out these garbage cards. All right, let's count those commons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No foil, no foil, no foil. But we do have Harsh Scrutiny, which allows you to discard a creature card from the opponent's hand and scry one. Now another Wisp Weaver Angel, who somehow has got scuffed up on the top. That's annoying. Uh, another Start Your Engines. And for our rare... A second Sahili Rai? What am I supposed to do with two of these? Oh, we had one of her before, so it's not as exciting, but it is another Planeswalker in this set, in this box. Man, this would be way cooler if you were, say, I don't know, a Chandra. That's right. Well, I've got, I've got trade fodder, basically. Does anyone want a, does anyone want a Sahili Rai? I have two of them. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? I actually ran out of sleeves, so I need to go run and get sleeves real quick. I'll be right back in like 20 seconds. Hold on, everybody. All right, box, this is how it's going to go. I got some sleeves, and I want this many mythics to put sleeves into. Cool, cool. Appreciate it, box. Thank you. Glad you understand how this is going to work. All right. Hey, look. It's you. Let's open you up. Some of you planeswalkers, you might be a little foreign Chandra. All right, here we go. Take you out gently. There we go. This is a perfectly open booster wrapper. I'll hold on to this one. Looks good. <laughs> Take out those Garbo cards. Let's count those commons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Oh, there's only nine. We got ourselves a foil. Foil hype. Foil hype. It's happening. We got a foil. Oh, foil Chandra. I'm feeling it, baby. 
Foil Chandra. We also got the Fairgrounds Warden. A 1-3 creature for 3 mana. When it enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. Ooh, get yourself, get yourself a creature and exile an opponent's creature. Awesome. The gear shift ace. Well, we had one of those before. He's the 2-1 first strike that can make one of your vehicles first strike. The another perpetual time piece. Awesome. And then our rare card is. Oh, another scrap heap scrounger. Awesome. We talked about that guy a lot in the last box, but I feel like I feel like he could be really good. I feel like he could be really good. The fact that he returns to the battlefield, not even tapped, but just back to the battlefield, so good. All right, let's check our foil card. Let's check the foil card. Check that foil card. Oh, it's a built to smash. It's a common. Dang. Dang. It was red, though. It was red. You're, you're in the ballpark, foil. You can do it. All right, here we go now. Take out these two. Take out these two. Count those commons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No foil in this pack. But we do have a long, thin sky whale, the Malthus Doorbuster, uh, the Elegant Edge Crafters. Again, all cards that we've seen before. And our rare card of. Oh, the Angel of Invention! Ooh, she's an awesome mythic rare. Another easy win card. For five mana, you get yourself a 2 1 Flying Vigilant Lifelink and Fabricate 2. So you could have her come in as a 4 3 Flying Vigilant Lifelink. Or come with two 1-1 one, one servo counters. But her additional ability makes it so other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So those servo creatures that she creates come out as 2-2. Two, two. Or you have yourself a really big mean flyer. Excellent mythic rare. Excellent. Alright, let's get that. Let's get that sleeved. Let's go ahead and put you right in there. I should just give up playing Magic and just open boxes of boosters because I love opening boosters so much. It's so good. Are you, are you losing Mythic Count? Uh, here, I, I can help you out with the Mythic Count. We got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, have five here, so we're, at, we're currently at eight Mythics, including the last box. What sleeves am I using? Uh, these are just super generic um, gloss sleeves. Uh, don't, I don't really recommend the gloss sleeves because I find matte ones shuffle better. But, they work. Alright, take out those two. Count the commons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No foil. It's wishful thinking asking for another foil right away, but, you know. Another S's extraction. The Contraband Kingpin once again. I like him a lot. Another Snare Thopter. Ooh, Snare Thopter. Wow. Rare card of... Ovia Pashiri, the Sage Lifecrafter once more. There's that legendary artifact creator that we had from the last box. I feel like she can be really, really good. If played properly, I feel like she can be really, really good. Set her to the side. Now, here we go. Yeah, I can't grumble at Snare Thopters. They're just solid flying, cheap creatures. How many commons do we have in here? Is there a foil? Is there? Eh, there is not. That's all right. Ooh, the Emberall Bruiser. Here's an uncommon that I have not seen yet. A 3-1 creature for two mana. Enters the battlefield tapped and has menace as long as you control an artifact. 3-1 menace for two mana. Can be really good. Spark of creativity once more. And the Restoration Gearsmith. Had her before. Let's check that rare. Marionette Master, what the hell is this? I haven't seen this before. 
It's a 1-3 creature for 6 mana. Good god. Fabricate 3? When an artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to Marionette Master's power. Wow! So it's a 4-6. And if you let your artifacts die, you're just dealing damage to your opponent. Dude, that could be really cool. Especially if you find a way to sacrifice your own artifact creatures. Wow, cool. All right. Tokens do trigger that. Tokens are artifact creatures. Six mana is rough, yeah. Six mana is rough. But you gotta keep in mind, when you're playing limited, the games are gonna last longer anyway. All right. No foil in here. This one's not going to be super exciting. Another Oval Chase Daredevil. Hey, Voltaic Brawler. You know how much I like that guy. Uh, another Quicksmith Genius. And another Dynavolt Tower. I've already got a foil one, so what do we care about this? Lick W. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, no, you're right, Booster. Yeah, tokens don't go to the graveyard because they're not a card. Yeah, put the graveyard is different than destroyed. Alright, let's get rid of those back couple cards. Could use uh could use some more foils. Could use some more mythics. Uh no no foils in here. We do got that Beaumont Bazaar Barge, Elegant Edge Crafters, the Inventor's Apprentice. And ha! Oh, a blooming marsh. A second blooming marsh. Awesome. Again, just speed lands. Super good. I don't have any. I haven't got any white speed lands at all, though. They go to the graveyard, but then they cease to exist, so it will trigger. Okay. Thanks for the clarification, MTG experiment. All right, appreciate the clarification. Okay. Let's check our commons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, no foils. But we do see ourselves with a harsh scrutiny. The veteran motorist and the Malthus doorbuster. I've got a lot of these Malthus doorbusters. And our rare card of Another Inventor's Fair. All right. Nothing super exciting in that one. That's all right. We're going through this box much quicker. Eh. Oh, sweet. My token was the uh, Nissa emblem. I'm going to need that. I don't think I got any emblem tokens yet, so that's good. Okay, can we get ourselves get ourselves another mythic in here, maybe? That'd be great. Another sky skiff. Oh, there's only nine commons, so we do got ourselves a foil in this pack. Oh, be something, be something beautiful. But another filigree familiar, another sky weather shot, another servant of the conduit. All right, first off, let's check our rare card. Our rare card is Metallurgic Summoning, which is a mythic rare. Had that earlier, but now we got ourselves a second one. And on top of that, we got ourselves a foil behind it. What's the foil? What's the foil? I'm a peek. I'm a peek. I won't let you guys look. I'm a peek. I'm a peek. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Could it... Is it... Oh, fuck, you guys. Oh, oh, fuck. So we got Metallurgic Summonings and our foil card. Bam. A foil. Noxious Gear Hulk. Damn! Oh, damn! Double rare and one's a foil! Hell yeah, dude! Yes! Yes! Sleeve them up, baby! Sleeve them up! Yes! Oh, that's so good. I'm gonna make a Noxious Gear Hulk deck. There will be three of them. Look out. 
I don't know the vo- the value on the foil gear hulks though. Oh, so cool. Haven't gotten any masterpieces yet. Let's keep in mind. But I got that going on. Ooh! Mm, girl! Double Mythic, what does that mean? Uh, basically got two super rare cards. 14 for Noxious Foil. Oh, not bad. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this box is going to make me fill out those sleeves just like I wanted. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I guess it would be too much to ask for another foil right away after getting a foil mythic, but that's fine. Engineered Might. Era of Innovation. The Gear Per Guide. And our rare card of... Multiform Wonder. Oh, this guy. We haven't hit him earlier. This is the dude that you can uh, spend his energy on making him powerful or tough, flying, lifelink, vigilant, etc. like this guy a lot. Awesome. What's the dollar limit on a card before I won't play it? None. I don't really sell my cards. I play them. Like, if they're worth a lot, sweet. But I prefer playing with my cards more than anything else. I try, I'm a collector, you guys. I like to collect things. Whether it be magic video games or whatever. Okay. Ooh, Ether Theorists. I'm a fan of that guy. Eh, no foil. No foil. But our uncommons of shrewd negotiation. Underhanded designs. The Diabolic Tutor. I'm actually not a huge fan of this one. I like the art on it a lot just because it's Nissa, like <laughs> corrupting Chandra, more or less. But for four mana as a sorcery to get yourself a card, not my favorite. Again, in the right deck, it could be great, but I play limited, so I'm not huge on this one. All right, let's just check that rare card, shall we? Oh, bam! Fumigate! Another Fumigate. Destroy all creatures, and you gain one life for each creature destroyed this way for five mana. Yay! Did I say Nissa? I meant Liliana. I apologies. You know who I meant, though. I guess I was still excited from that Nissa I got in the other in the other box. Still no masterpieces, though. Sure could go for a masterpiece. Goat. Any foils? Oh, we got ourselves a foil pack, though. We got ourselves a foil pack. All right, so our uncommons are Nature's Way, the Gear Per Guide, and Ceremonious Rejection, which for a one-mana counter-target counter color spell, surprisingly good, limited for one mana. But our rare card is... Hey, the Green Gear Hulk, another mythic. Put it on the counter. For five mana, it's a four four trample. When it enters the battlefield, you get four plus one plus one counters to put on any creatures you control. That includes him. You could make him into an eight eight trample or buff up all of your other dudes. But this is an awesome gear hulk. Awesome gear hulk. And on top of that, we got ourselves another another foil. Let me check it. Is anything exciting? Anything exciting? Nah, it's nothing exciting. It's the uh, fire forger's puzzle knot. But hey. A foil inside a mythic pack. Can't complain about that. Let's get that sleeve. We're about halfway through the box. About halfway through. The only gear hulk I am currently missing right now is white. I have all the other gear hulks. And I'm missing all the masterpieces in the Chandra, but you know, whatever. Whatever. But it sounds cool. Yeah, it sounds cool. Oh, dang it. My car just splooshed everywhere. Hold on. Oh, dang it. I oh, hope I didn't mess anything up too badly. Alright, I can fix it. 
Cool. All right, here we go. I don't believe there's a foil in this pack. Nope. But we do have another underhanded designs. Another ceremonious rejection. Another creeping mold. And our rare card of the Deadlock Trap. It's another story card. I actually haven't seen this one before. It's a three-mana artifact and enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, you get two energy. Pay one energy to tap target creature or planeswalker. Its activated abilities can't be activated this turn. That's stupid. I mean, maybe good and constructed, maybe, but I'd rather just destroy a planeswalker than tap it. But in limited, this is worthless. Because your chances of playing against a planeswalker are close to nil. I mean, I guess. All right. I don't have it, though. So I can mark it off the list. All right, here we go. Take these two out. Count those commons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, no foil. We do have the Demolition Stomper. The Veteran Motorist. And the Malthus Doorbuster. All right, rare card. What you got for me? What you got for me? Oh, Insidious Will. This card's hilarious. <laughs> it costs four mana. You can counter a target spell, or choose a new target for the target spell, or copy an instant or sorcery spell, and then choose new targets for that copy. So you can stop. So you can stop a con uh, spell from happening, or you can uh, say they're casting a destruction uh, kill spell or whatever one of your dudes. You can then redirect it to one of theirs. Or you can copy an instant or sorcery to, say, double up on some instant damage. Or if you're playing, playing like the uh, plus five, plus five trample, put on two of your dudes. This card can be really funny. It's got so many options. It's one of, my, one of the better counter spells I've seen. I like that a lot. I don't typically play counters in limited. But that one's just so funny, I feel like I, I would, totally would. Uh, Destroyer Phoenix, thanks for the resub. I don't know why that's off the side. I'll fix that. Okay. Let's check here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Damn. Just another regular pack. Well, hopefully we got a decent rare in it, though. A Furious Reprisal, the Fretwork Colony, and the Durable Handicraft. What's my rare? What's my rare? What's my rare? <laughs> Wildest Dreams. I actually don't have this one yet. Double X, one green mana, sorcery, return X target cards from your graveyard to your hand, then exile Wildest Dreams. Okay. All right. All right. I like that you go back to your hand and not just on top of your library or into your library or whatever. Uh, it's okay. We'll have to see. I'd have to see on this one. I, I don't know if I... I'm sure it's very comboable in standard and probably modern. I, I couldn't think of a way at the moment, but I feel like this could... I feel like this could use have a lot of utility very easily. So I'll put that right on top of there. More boosters to go. Seasons past was better. I agree. I mean, I would take, I would take like grapple with the past over something like that just for mana effectiveness. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Foil! Oh, we got a foil. Yes, foil and another aerial responder. One of the best uncommons. So already happy with this. We also got the ballista charger again, and we got another ether hub. But we got ourselves a rare and a foil. Let's hope for something awesome. First off, our rare card is the Electrostatic Pummeler. What is this one? It is a 1-1 creature for 3 mana. And when it enters the battlefield, you get 3 energy. Pay 3 energy. The Electrostatic Pummeler gets plus X, plus X until end of turn, where X is its power. So you can double up on its power 
using three energy. So really this dude is only going to work and make it worthwhile and spending that much energy if you find a way to pump him up first. But I like that you can use energy to do that, which means you can use your spend your mana to play, say, a sorcery or an enchantment to increase his power first and then juice him. Not my favorite, but he could have a, a lot of combo po potential. All right, foil card, foil card, foil card, foil card. Ooh, a foil Imperial Voyager. I've gotten so many of these guys, why not have a shiny one? You know what, that's fine. A foil uncommon is better than a foil common. I take it. Yeah, you would need to use a lot of cards to make the electrostatic pummeler work. It could work, but you would need, yeah, it would, it would take a lot of effort. All right, here we go. Getting through this box. Take out the top two. All right. What we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So another standard pack, but we got ourselves an Arborback Stomper again. Only my second one I've seen of this show up. Uh, another Contraband Kingpin. Uh, a Refurbish. So you can get an artifact card on, back onto the battlefield. And the rare card of the Panharmonican. A four mana cost artifact. If an artifact or creature entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. This could be super wacky. Super wacky. I could see this working with the, uh, like all the, the module, the concoction modules and all that. But all those enter the battlefield effects, you're looking at counters, you're looking at uh, energy. This this can be really, really good. Glad I got that one. Uh, let's see what else we got. Very situational, yes. But if you're built around that situation, it shouldn't be too hard to make happen. All right. Look at that. Ooh, that plus Cloud Blazer equals value all day. Ooh, that'd be mean on a Cloud Blazer. Uh, no foil in this pack, but we do have another Foundry Inspector, another Voltaic Brawler, another Ether Meltdown, all solid uncommons. And the rare card of another Madcap Experiment. Oh, you're not Chandra. Or a masterpiece. Oh, Coca Mint Waffle, thank you for the seven hundred bits. I'll use that I'll use that I'm using that bit energy. Alright, coconut coca mint waffle. Look at this. This is what I'm gonna do. Coca mint, uh this one. This one's for you, Coca Mint. I'm gonna use that still seven hundred bits as energy to channel into this pack. And we're going to get some good stuff out of it. We're going to get some good stuff out of it. Right now, now. Right now. All right now. Some good stuff right out of this one. All right. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope. No foil, but... A Wisp Weaver Angel is excellent. Demolition Stomper. Another Diabolic Tutor. Coca Mint. The rare that you have given me. Oh shit, it's the Torrential Gear Hulk! Another Mythic Rare! Ba -da 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 -da. A 5 6 Flash. I love that it has Flash. I'm going to the battlefield to get an instant or sorcery card. You can play it from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. So you get yourself a big, beefy creature. And on top of that, you got yourself. Uh, additional spell upon top of that. Ooh! Ooh, I like him a lot. And I've already had one of those from the pre-release, so that's my second Blue Gear Hulk. Let's go ahead and sleeve you up, baby. Oh, thank you, Coco Mint. Your energy energy from your bits has gotten me another Mythic Rare. Mmm. Oh, instance only? Oh, yeah, it is only instance. Still. 
Awesome. Freaking awesome. Next pack. All right, here we go now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No foil. That's all right. That's all right. We don't need, we don't need foils all the time. That's all right. We have a Chief of the Foundry, another Whirler Virtuoso, a Morbid Curiosity, and another Syndicate Trafficker. All right, tight. That's all I got to say about that. I have not gotten the white gear hulk yet. That's the only gear hulk I'm missing, Sentinel Wolf. All right. Let's open those up. Take out these. Okay. How many commons am I looking at in here? Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So no foil in here. We do have a weapon craft enthusiast. Another whirler virtuoso. How many of these guys do I have at this point? My God. A veteran motorist. And the rare card. Eliminate the competition. For five mana, as an additional cost to cast, eliminate the competition. Sacrifice X creatures, and then destroy X target creatures. If you're playing a Fabricate deck and you have just a bunch of 1-1 servos, sack the shit out of those and wipe his board. Awesome Sauce with 100 bits. Here's some more good vibes. Thank you, Awesome Sauce. Let's see if we can do it. Let's get some good vibes going on in here with those 100 bits. Let's see what we can do here. Well, we got ourselves a turtle right on top. That's worth 100 bits on its own. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, another decoction module. This is like my third one of this. Another disappearing act. Another brazen scourge. A three, three haste for three mana. Good vibes, good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. Master Trinketeer. Servos and Thopters you control get plus one, plus one, and for four mana, create a one, one colorless servo artifact creature token. That's going to be a two, two as long as this dude's in play. Very strong. If you're playing a white fabricate deck, my god, will this dude do some work for you? Especially if you're getting Thopters out, because then they're flying two twos. Very cool. And he's a dwarf. Hooray. Another rare card they don't have yet. Oh, well, I'm getting scared, you guys. I'm getting scared. We've got five boosters left. And I haven't seen a masterpiece yet. I have not seen a masterpiece yet. And we got these five, five boosters. Well, one of them have a masterpiece. Oh, please. I want a masterpiece so bad. Lotus Petal, Soul Ring, come on. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's see what we can do. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do it. Come on, come on. Let's get something good. All right, take out these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still don't have a foil. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, yet another decoction module. God damn it. Give me the other piece of the module. Uh, another hazardous conditions. Another start your engines. And the rare card. Uh, Sahili's Artistry. Now, we had a Sahili's Artistries earlier. And that's fine. Ah, oh, you're not a masterpiece. I mean, this can be hilarious because you get yourself two things, basically. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's take a look at that other few boosters that we have left. Maybe we can make something happen. 
Super Toaster with the 700 bits. This is for the money shot, baby. All right, Super Toaster. This is your pack. This pack is for you, dude. Do we got ourselves a mythic? Do we got ourselves a foil? Is it coming from you? Counting on you. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No foil. No foil. But if you can get me a good, uh, good rare mythic, we'll see. We'll see. Ether Torch Renegade. Sequestered Stash. The Minister of Inquiries. And this is from Super Toaster. Ha. Oh, the Bristling Hydra. Yes. This is an awesome rare card. He's a 4-3 creature for 4 mana, and when he enters the battlefield, you get 3 energy. You can pay 3 energy and give him a plus 1, plus 1 counter. And he has Hexproof until end of turn. This is an awesome green creature. I played one of these in my pre-release, and he did so much work. I had so much energy, I was able to bring him up very quickly to a 7-6 with Hexproof. Oh, he's so good. Oh, he's so good. Well done, Super Toaster. Thank you for the bits. You got me an awesome rare card. I like this guy a lot. Three packs left. Still, uh... Still no masterpiece. Coca Mint Waffle! Thank you for subscribing. Button up your blue shirt. Enjoy your emotes. Appreciate it, dude. Ooh, let's see what we can do. Ooh, let's see what we can do. Come on now. Come on now. All right. Count those comments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we're not seeing. We are not seeing a foil here, but we do have ourselves another Cloud Blazer. We also have the Iron League Steed and the Arrow of Innovation and our rare card of another Pia Nalar. Ah, oh, you're not a mythic. Oh man, you guys, I don't think it's gonna happen. Don't think it's gonna happen in my two boxes of boosters. Really don't think there's gonna be a masterpiece in these two. Don't see it happening. All right. Okay. Okay. Open, damn it. Oh, why are you being such a pain? Okay, I'll go this way. Heart, I don't think Heart of the Cards works when you're opening boosters. It's just when you're top decking. <laughs> Got to not one, it's like Monster Hunter drops. Damn, these boosters come with desire sensors? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No foil. There's no foil in here. There's no foil. But we did get a Harness Lightning, an uncommon card they don't have yet. For two mana, as an instant, you get a true target creature. You get three energy. And then pay as much energy you want to deal that creature that much damage. Just generating the uh, energy alone is awesome. Hey, the fabrication module. This is one of the other pieces of the module is talking about. So I'll t I'm going to talk about this real quick because I loved it so much. So this on top of the concoction module is what I played during my pre-release. Where that concoction module go? So... Concoction module. Let's see if I can find it. If not, I'll just talk about it. Here we go. Decoction module. That's what it was. So I had both of these during my pre release. And I played both, and they were hilarious. So, decoction module. Anytime a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you get an energy. But if you also have the fabrication module, it makes it so that anytime you get an energy, you get a plus one, plus one counter and target creature you control. So you're getting energy. And plus one, plus one counters to beef up those creatures that are coming into play or your other creatures. Put that on top of Fabricate. That's just mean synergy. Super mean synergy. So I played these two and they're hilarious. 
And you can always pay four mana and tap this guy to give yourself another energy to give yourself another plus one, plus one creature in case you don't have anything else to spend your, ma uh, your mana on. So these two together, hilarious. All right, enough of that. Uh, Visionary Augmenter. He's the uh, fabricating dude. Gunslinger, thank you for subscribing. All right, this is my second to last rare. Second to last rare. I'm, I'll do it slowly. I'll do it slowly, okay? Second to last rare, super slow. Hey, it's the red white land. I'll take that. I'll take that red white land. That's cool. Speed lands are always great. Got the red white. Okay. There's not a masterpiece in here. Who am I kidding? There is not a masterpiece in here. But even just another solid mythic would be great. Oh, let's open it up, everybody. Let's open it up and get ready for this disappointment. As we open up our final booster. Take those off to the side. Dubious, oh, please don't be dubious challenge. That would be upset me a lot. Okay, here we go. Let's count the commons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There's not even a foil. There's not even a foil. But we do have a long tusk cub. Another solid uncommon card. The Armorcraft Judge. And the Inventor's Apprentice. Okay. One last rare card. This is it. This is it. This is the last one. It's going to be something awful and stupid. Just stupid. Just stupid. Just stupid. I'm so I'm scared. I am scared. It's a cultivator of blades. He's all right. Had one of those before. Cultivator of blades. No masterpieces. No masterpieces. It didn't happen. Damn. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so bad. I mean, I got a lot of other awesome stuff, but man, I want a masterpiece. Oh well. Though that being said, out of this box we got what? Seven mythic rares out of this box, including a foil mythic rare. Uh and two planeswalkers. I got three gear hulks out of the box. Black, green, and blue. Didn't get any don't have any whites. So combine that with all of the other mythic rares that I got here from the other box. We're looking at quite a few. A surprising amount of uh, duplicates. Now, these were just foil uncommons. Creeps McPasta takes the top tip of the stream like the smooth criminal he is with $20. Here's a donation for your future endeavors for Chandra and Masterpieces. Ah, uh, thanks, Jacob. Well, dang, dang. I guess I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get some more, more, more cards, aren't I? All right. So that's that's the uh, second box on opening. Here's all of the mythics I got. Beanopolis, thank you for subscribing. Button up your blue shirt. Enjoy your moats. All the mythics we got here. Uh, I did get three of the four planeswalkers. The only one I'm missing is Chandra, but I am super happy with Nissa as well. All the gear hulks, the angel invention, still got a lot of good stuff here. So that's the second box. I've got, I'm going to the Atlanta Grand Prix this weekend, so maybe I can win some inventions there with everything I open up. Maybe I, I, can, I can win stuff this weekend. We'll see. We'll see. Wish me luck for this weekend. I can do it. All right, that's the second box. Thanks for watching, guys.